So this is to show how number flow four continues to flow fuel. So we have our gravity feed here. This is cylinder number three. In the previous video, Chris, you could see how the bell housing was all wet and there was just a little bit of fuel coming up from the jet needle, which was that little piece standing up in there. So we're basically at, with the angle, about 30 milliliters. So I'm going to show you what happens with a good one to start with. You can see that they're both dry right now. Number four is not actually leaking. That's because I dried it off and pushed it down with my fingertip. So when you use fuel, the flow, of course, comes down, opens up the valve, and you get fuel flowing into the bowl again. Now, as you can see, number three right there pretty much shut off the fuel once I dropped it back down. You can see it's really not continuing to flow. I blow on it a little bit, it dries up and evaporates. Now what's going to happen, you can see also our level went down to about 20, 27 milliliters. We're actually going to flow number four now. And number four is not going to actually shut off now. The little ripple marks you see here is it continuing to flow. You can actually see it's still dropping slowly. And what that does to the bike is it's flooding the number four cylinder. Now I'm going to physically push it down, which of course you can't do that when it's going and of course it has now stopped because I pushed it down. I'll raise it again and it's going to continue to flow very slowly. You can see it just continuing to drop. four just keeps on flowing and now we're empty well there's still a little bit in the fuel line so unfortunately I do not have a new float valve in stock and I don't think anybody else does I called one of my parts buddies and he didn't have any so we're probably going to have to wait on the pickup tomorrow